we got to see some shockers and some not so shockers, but overall an engaging display of golf. Right from the start, it was clear that this Australian Open was going to be something else, and it's fair to say that all the fans who turned up got their money's worth. Today we'll talk about the solid golf that was played down in Australia, starting with a little recap of how things started for the big names. First up, a look at Minji Lee's first round. The problem with star players is that the expectations people have from them step into the field long before they do, and stay there long long after they've left. This was the case with Minji Lee when she showed up at this year's Australian Open. But the 26-year-old put on a brave start. Probably the most memorable Minji moments were the eagle that she hit and also the eagle that she missed. On the par 5 eighth hole, her long putt resulted in an absolutely gorgeous eagle. We expect no less from the young Aussie star, now did we? Her round also had another birdie against two bogeys. But then again, not all putts are created equal. On the par 4 18th hole, our girl missed a very good chance of a clean eagle when her shot landed 1.8 meters away from the pin. This first round of the Australian Open was important because it really showed the fans what to expect from the players on the field. But if you are that one person who loves betting on games, we're truly sorry for how things must have turned out. Like everyone was expecting the world number four to be in the lead from the beginning to the end, but that's not what happened. She was bested by Grace Kim. All in all, though, she put on a pretty decent first round and finished at two under par 70. By the end of the first showdown, she was satisfied with her performance, saying she managed to hit some really good shots in pretty awful weather conditions. Next up, Cam Smith's start. The world number three came in with the dreams of winning the Australian Open right after the Australian PGA Championship. But the universe said, nah, not today, mate. Cam Smith's first round was similar to Min G's in that he was also the star on the field that the fans were expecting a lot from. But unlike Min G, he couldn't put on an impressive round and the poor mulleted boy's start was nothing short of a disaster. Do we know how bad we're talking? We're talking 64th place, thanks to the one over par with not one, not two, a mighty four bogeys. Yeah, the struggle was real. But hey, if Smith's one over 71 finish in round one was a surprise, so was the leading man of round one, David Michaluzzi. Yes, we told you the Australian Open was bananas right from the start, didn't we? While this year's Claret Jug winner was out there fighting for his life, we had Michaluzzi stun the field with an impressive seven under 63. Now, David is a very talented guy. We don't doubt him one bit. So allow us to explain why his performance was such a shocker, especially in a field where the likes of Cam Smith and Adam Scott were struggling. Our guy Michaluzzi stands at number 506 in the world rankings, which is also his best to date. Yep, now you know why we're stunned. Following up what Smith had to say, the Australian star was understandably very unhappy with his start at his home open. He commented on his performance saying it was pretty rubbish and that it was his worst performance in a very long time. We stand a self-aware king. Now, to be fair to the mulleted golfing genius, the course they played on that day, the Victoria Golf Club, is pretty notorious for being tricky. And on top of that, the weather added its own level of nastiness to the day, too. Cam Smith didn't fail to mention this either. He said that the course was exceptionally difficult and the weather conditions made it harder to navigate. Even then, he admits that he should have and could have done better. In fact, the advantage of knowing this course well might have been one of the factors David Michaluzzi was able to put on on the game that he did. He said that he knows this course like the back of his hand. Moving on, how things ended on the women's side. No, Minji Lee didn't win. Neither did Grace Kemp. The real queen of the Australian Open turned out to be Ashley Buhai. The world's number 24th ranked player smashed it and won her second Australian title of the year. The South African rose to the top as Grace Kim's performance saw a decline as the tournament rounds progressed. Closing the game at 1 over 73, she left behind South Korean G.I.E. Shin, who stood at 7 for second place. Buhai closed the tournament with an impressive 12 under. The only Australian in the top three was Hannah Green, who finished just behind Jihai Yushin. And then we had Grace Kim at fourth with Minji Lee following behind at fifth on the leaderboard. This tournament wasn't very kind to the stars, was it? Anyway, the South African champion was over the moon about her win and even became teary-eyed when talking about it. She called the Australian Open a cherry on top. And you know what? That's the perfect way to describe the absolutely stunning campaign she's had this year. The Aussie dreams were crushed because there wasn't a local winner, but this really was the best way to end Buhai's year. Only
Only this summer she won the AIG Women's Open and now this. Do you know what that makes her? That makes her the woman since Yanni Seng in 2011 to win both the Women's Open and the Australian Open in the same year. Coming up, the results on the men's side. No, the men's champion wasn't an Aussie either. Over here, Poland won. The best golfer that Poland has produced to date, Adrian Mironk, claimed a five-stroke victory over the Australian star Adam Scott. And here's the fun fact that makes this win even better. Adrian was a big fan of Scott when he was younger, so the Polish star defeated his hero on his very soil. Pretty inspiring, isn't it? The competition for the 29-year-old was nothing less than an absolute nail-biter between him, Scott, and another Aussie, Minwoo Lee. The lead that decided his win over his idol was thanks to Adam's double bogey at the 17th. Marunk took advantage and didn't let the game slip from his hands after this. And so the pole finished 4 under 66 to become the first European to win this title after Rory McIlroy claimed the trophy for Northern Ireland in 2013. Following him on the leaderboard was, of course, Adam Scott with a 2 over 72 finish on Sunday. And the third place was claimed by Min Woo Lee with his 1 under 69 finish. He's Min Ji Lee's brother, by the way. And he finished a place above her, so God bless poor Min Ji for the bragging she's most probably going to deal with. As for Cam Smith, well, not much changed for him after that nightmare of a first round. There's no way to say this. They can make it sound any better, but our guy didn't even make the cut. Yep, not a single mullet in sight on Sunday. So if you decide to go looking for him on the leaderboard, start looking from the bottom. It'll save you some time. We did this. Trust us. Now, let's talk a little about Cam Smith's recent win, too. First up, it was the Australian PGA. Sure, he lost pretty badly at the Australian Open, and we've given him some heat. But anyone pulling that retro style in 2022 deserves our respect and has our support. And so we'll bring up the Australian PGA Championship that took place in Queensland just a few days before the Australian Open to remind you that Smith is is still pretty much the man. He claimed the title for the third time after winning it first in 2017 and then in 2018. His bank account also saw some good money coming in after this win. Yep, he made $2 million from it. Now, it might not sound like much after the ridiculous bag he's made at LIV Golf, but it's pretty good still. Up next, the conditions weren't good there too. Some people have criticized Smith for trying to blame the weather for his Australian Open nightmare. But we'd like you to consider that the Australian PGA Championship he one was played in nasty weather conditions too. Games had to be stopped and resumed because of the harsh winds, and this happened multiple times. Smith said that it was frustrating how the weather didn't let them play in peace. But then again, there was a happy ending to this episode, and he said he was happy about and really proud of his third win at the championship. Lastly, who else prevailed at the championship? Golf is one hell of a crazy game. You won't see many similarities between the leaderboards of the two tournaments. The results here saw Cam Smith at the top followed by two players tying for second place, fellow Aussie Jason Scrivener and Japan's Ryo Hisatsune. For third place, there was also a tie between Minwoo Lee and English golfer John Perry. That's a wrap for this video. Did your favorite put on a promising performance at the recent Australian Open? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.